Okay, how you doing? Uh, Mike Kennedy. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my language arts class now, my seventh grade language arts class, my homeroom. Um, got 12 kids in the class. And uh, I am all about reading. I, I believe uh, the secret to education is reading. Um, you need to be able to read, you need to be able to read fluently, accurately, with comprehension, and uh, with an understanding of the vocabulary that you're reading. Okay, it's, to me, it's the, the bedrock of uh, a successful life is um, reading. Okay, if you can't read, you're not going to go very far in this world. Okay, so um, what we do in language arts is we have uh, a, a couple of things I want to talk about. First of all, is a daily five, which is a kind of a, a structure that I use in my language arts class. I have rotations in my class that run anywhere between 20 minutes and a half an hour, and during those rotations, we read to ourselves. Okay, we have kid, my kids read to themselves from novels that they have chosen for themselves, and that's really difficult in the situation we're in because I don't know if the kids are reading the books when I give them the opportunity to. When they're in the classroom, I'm watching them. They are reading. Uh, last year, I had a couple of kids. Uh, I had three kids, as a matter of fact, that read over 30 novels. And, and they read over 30 novels. They gave book reports on those 30 novels, and I know they read those 30 novels. Um, I don't know if we'd be able to accomplish that this year. Um, but uh, I expect kids to be reading all the time in class when they have that opportunity. And they should be reading for homework. Uh, they should all be reading at least a half an hour a day. Uh, novels that they've chosen themselves. Okay, not, not, these are not books that I picked for them. These are novels that they've chosen for themselves. Okay, um, so that, that reading, uh, read to self, that I'm talking about is part of, part of my daily five rotations. So we'll read to self for a half an hour. Um, then we have a writing, writing sessions. Uh, there's a session where they can listen to reading. There's a, we have a, um, a website called Epic where they can go to this um, website and they will read the book to you. So they, you know, I don't care what they're reading, if it's a comic book, an informational text, a novel, um, anything they want. Uh, they can listen to um, the, the reading themselves, okay? They will, the, 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 the website reads to them, all right? And then I uh, would work on vocabulary as well. And, and, you know, this isn't working out as well as it should because of the situation we're in. Um, I'm trying to adjust and fit all this stuff in. Um, it's kind of difficult, but I'm going to get there, okay? Um, again, reading, 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 reading. Last year... I had, um, when, when the, the year started, I had, I think, one student that was reading, at, no, I had two students that were reading at grade level, uh, just barely reading at grade level. Um, by the end of the year, I had seven kids reading at grade level. Some of these kids had lifted their, readings, their reading levels three grades, uh, one, three, three and a half grades. So by the end of the year, I had seven kids reading at grade level. And every kid in my class, every student in my class, had raised their reading level. Um, nobody went down. Nobody stayed the same. Everybody went up. And like I said, by the end of the year, we had, and the year ended prematurely, as you remember. Um, by the end of the year, we had seven kids reading at grade level. I'm, I'm really proud of that. <clears throat> Not for me, but for my kids. Uh, they, they, they worked hard. Uh, those kids that raised their grades grade level. They worked at it. It wasn't easy for them. They worked hard at it. And they did a darn good job. And that's what I'm trying to get these kids doing this year. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so uh, that's our aim. And we have these three really powerful tools that help us with this. One is called Chief 3000. One is called iReady. And one is called ReadWorks. I use all three of them. Um, these two, the top two, at the beginning of the year, we give them diagnostic tests. Okay, and those diagnostics kind of tell us what level our students are at. Um, we have, like I said, 12 students in the class. Of those 12 students, we have uh, three that are barely reading grade level. Okay, everybody else is below grade level. Some are significantly below grade level. So we got a lot of work to do. But that's what I'm here for. That's what I love about this job. Okay, we got a lot of work to do, but like I said last year, uh, we accomplished a lot, and I'm planning on accomplishing a lot this year. 
hopefully we can get back into the building and we can accomplish a lot more than we're going to be able to do with this e-learning, but it is what it is, okay? So, um, Achieve 3000, iReady, and ReadWorks, um, these are software programs um, that the kids um, work on. Um, you, if you're at home and you hear me, you hear me harping on it, you know, you didn't do a very good job on your Achieve 3000, you need to do better. These are things they need to buy into. These three, these three programs are essential to helping them lift their grade levels, their reading grade levels, right? Um, I also talk to the kids about, uh, you know, accuracy and fluency and uh, comprehension and different strategies that they can use to help them um, raise their levels. Okay, when they're in school, it's so much easier because I can work one-on-one -on -one with them. It's very difficult with the situation we've got now, but like I said, I'm working on it and we'll get there. So, um, again, these are, just let me make sure I'm not leaving anything out here. So the diagnostics on these three, if you have any questions about these three programs, let me know. I'd be more than happy to, you can, you know, you can even come into the school if you'd like. We'll both wear masks, we'll socially distance, I can explain to you how they work, or you can give me a call. Um, my rotations, uh, let's see. The strategies that we use, there's all kinds of different strategies that I use to help these kids um, with those, those things like accuracy and comprehension and, and uh, fluency and things like that. So, you know, we also, every day we read for the first half hour of class after lunch, we read from a novel. Uh, we read the novel Wonder at the beginning of the year, then we read uh, One Third Nerd. I was the second one right now, we're reading a Harry Potter novel. So, um, we are, we are working uh, diligently. Um, I am working hard with them. I am on top of them. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please give me a call and uh, we'll get through this thing. Okay? All right. Thanks a lot.